What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We'll continue with our 2022 predictions. Purdue is up next. Purdue had a surprise season a little bit last year going 8-4, and four, winning some big games and they went 8-4 and four with a tough schedule. They had to play Ohio State out of the East. They also had to play Notre Dame. So they had a, a very tough schedule. They were still able to go 8-4. and four. Uh, again, had a really good year. You look at this team heading into 22, and uh, I think the passing game is going to be good once again. They were a top 10 team in the, in the passing game last season. They might want to run the football a little bit better. That could help them out and get a little balance. Uh, that's something where they really struggled. Really didn't try to run it too much. They really relied on that passing game. Uh, but offensively, I think they'll be right where they were last year. Should be a really good offense. And defensively, they bring back a lot from a defense that wasn't great last year, but I actually was looking over the numbers. They were a top 50 defense. I think they were number 48 in total defense. So they weren't terrible, and you have a lot coming back. So a defense that maybe will be improved a little bit as well. Uh, Purdue becomes a really good team, a, a team that can really be a threat in the Big Ten West. And what really gives them the best chance in the West is the schedule, which we'll show in just a second. But let's look at some of these other predictions. The FPI has them at 7.1 and 5.1, so 7 and 5 roughly. Athlon a little bit higher at 8 and 4, and the over-under is at 7.5, so right there in between that. Uh, these numbers all pretty much in agreement here, 7 and 5, 8 and 4. That seems to be the prediction for Purdue. But again, the schedule, I think, gives them a chance to maybe do a little bit better than that. They get Penn State at home. That's going to be a key game, uh, a really, really big game for both teams. But you look at the rest of the schedule um, out of the East, they will play Indiana, and then they will play Maryland, so they don't play Michigan, Michigan State, or Ohio State. And then in the non-conference, they don't really have a tough test at all. So a really nice schedule for Purdue. But again, it starts with that first game against Penn State. I think these teams are pretty even, but it's just something about that first game of the season, playing on a Thursday night, home field advantage, all of those things just make me lean towards Purdue. Again, X's and O's, I think these teams are pretty similar, but I think Purdue, a Penn State team that does have a lot of inexperience. Purdue has more uh, production coming back, more experience coming back, and I think that'll bode well for them in that first game. I think they beat Penn State and also beat Indiana State. And when we talked about this Purdue team a second ago, of course, Aiden O'Connell back, one of the top quarterbacks in the country. So uh, he, he will be ready for that game. It'll be a, a good battle between him and Sean Clifford. But I'm going to say Purdue wins that game. And I'll circle back to that because I think that game may determine everything for Purdue this year. Syracuse up next on September the 17th on the road. This is a tricky game. I'm not really high on Syracuse, but it is a road game. It's a power five team. I don't expect just an easy win for Purdue, but I think their offense will be too good. They'll find a way to get it done. They beat Syracuse on the road and then beat Florida Atlantic, so I've got them starting off 4-0. Then they go into the month of October. A very tough road game here against Minnesota. Talked about the experience, the production coming back for Purdue. Minnesota might be the most experienced team in the entire Big Ten. They have a ton of production coming back. Uh, they've got six-year guys, I think maybe even seventh-year guys, so this is a veteran team. This will be a huge game in the division. It's on the road. It's a coin flip game for me. Really, I'm kind of back and forth. So I'm going to say home field advantage will be the difference. Minnesota will win this one. Purdue going to fall to 4-1. and one. Next game is on the road at Maryland. This is going to be a fun game. If you want to circle a game to watch this year that's just going to be entertaining, I think this is one of those games. A lot of points in this game. I think you will see a back and forth shootout type game. It's on the road. This is a tough one for me. I think Maryland is, is capable of winning this game, but I'm going to say Purdue bounces back after the loss to Minnesota, and I think they will beat Maryland in a very tight game, very good game. Aiden O'Connell has proven they can get it done on the road before. They did it last year in some big games. I think they will win this game against Maryland and get to 5-1. and one. Nebraska up next. This will be a home game for Purdue. Had a good game last year between these two, and I expect a good game again this year. It's, it's kind of like Minnesota, really just a coin flip game for me. I'm going to go with home field advantage. I think Purdue beats Nebraska to improve to 6-1. and one. Then they will go on the road at Wisconsin. Wisconsin going to try to run the football, keep this Purdue offense off of the field. That will probably be the strategy for Minnesota as well. Uh, but it's a tough place to play, obviously, there at Wisconsin. 
Uh, that strategy, I think, with Braylon Allen might be just enough for Wisconsin to get this win. And so I've got the Badgers winning this one. Purdue falls to 6-2. and two. Next game is against Iowa. Home game for Purdue. Of course, they had the big win over them last year on the road. Uh, this will be very similar to the Wisconsin game. I think Iowa is going to run, want to run the football, slow the game down, keep the Purdue offense off the field. But I don't think Iowa is going to be able to run the football as well as Wisconsin. And it's a home game for Purdue, so I'm going to go with the Boilermakers to beat Iowa and improve to 7-2. and two. Illinois coming up next on the road. You could have a letdown here a little bit after really a, a tough string. I mean, the, the whole schedule for Purdue is between Minnesota and Iowa. Those five games... I mean, that's it. Of course, Purdue there in the opener. But um, other than that, the schedule is not too bad. It, not bad at all, really. Uh, so maybe there's a letdown. It's on the road. Maybe they come out slow. But I think this Purdue offense uh, will be too good. I think they'll find a way to get it done, get the win over Illinois, and improve to 8-2. and two. A Northwestern team that I think is going to be better than they were last year. So I think this will be a somewhat competitive game. I don't know if they're going to be good enough to really challenge in this game. It's a home game for Purdue. Um, I think they win it by a couple of scores. Not a blowout, but not a, a one score down to the wire type game either. I'm going to say Purdue beats Northwestern. And then they finish up with Indiana on the road. 9-2, and two, looking really good. Maybe into the top 15, maybe even top 10. I mean, 9-2 and two in the Big Ten, they have a chance to be ranked pretty high. Now, maybe that pressure gets to them a little bit. It's a rivalry game. I think this Indiana team is going to be better than they were last season. They pull off a shocker, they upset Purdue, and I've got the Boilermakers finishing 9-3. But again, don't get too hung up on the Indiana game there. Uh, it could go different. They could lose to Penn State. They could lose to, to Maryland on the road. Uh, I, I, Again, if you haven't watched my videos, I do the predictions, I do my records, and then I go back and fill in all the games. And uh, I needed another win for Indiana. That's just really what it came down to. I, I knew for Purdue I was going to go 9-3. More likely that they lose to Maryland or Penn State than Indiana. But I needed another win for Indiana, and that's just how it came out. So I think they will be 9-3. and three. Maybe you switch some of these games around. But that Penn State game, that's going to determine everything. You lose that game, then it's potentially four conference losses. That's probably not going to get you to the Big Ten Championship. But with three conference losses, uh, they've got a really good shot in a very tough division where I think everyone will beat up on each other. But, again, that's my prediction for Purdue in 2022. 9-3. and three.